Previously on We Eat Films. Where are we? Idiots! There's a literal elephant in the room. I'm Al's assistant. Basically, you made me dress up as Patrick, and then I had to kidnap each of you. Okay, who the hell is this Patrick dude? He keeps messaging me all the fucking time. Now on We Eat Films. Hi, I'm Josh Littman. And I'm Subash Santosh. And today on Weed Films, we'll be reviewing... Rebecca, Rebecca French. French. So, Josh, what do you think of Rebecca? Uh, well, Subash, visually speaking, I mean, she's just striking. Her grace and her beauty are really only eclipsed by her intellectual savvy. As far as we know, she may very well be the French's finest work thus far. Well, I have to disagree with you, Josh. I think Rebecca is like Renee Zellweger. She can look good, she can look pedestrian, but in the end, it all just depends on the lighting and how many beers you've had. Hey, what are they reviewing? Well, I think she's more like Pulp Fiction. I mean, uh, she, she's got her quirks, she has her moments, but in the end, to really appreciate her, repeated viewings are a must. Well, I see what you're saying, but I think she's more like Steve Buscemi. There's not much to look at, but those deep blue eyes keep you wanting more. As for my rating, I, I'd have to give her a 9 out of 10. She really is one of the best I've seen this year. Well, I think Rebecca is like a fine bottle of wine. She gets better as she ages, but right now she's very young. Is this about me? 4.5 out of 10. Is this review about me? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, this is humiliating! Yeah. Let's go pick up some chicks! And eat red meat! Yeah, let's grow our beards! And watch Sister of the Traveling Pants! Seriously, why do you guys have to be so macho all the time? Well, that's just ridiculous, Rebecca. 6,001! 6,002! My life is a gym! 6,003! What? I gave you a 9. The only reason I took off a point is because you didn't give me any nibs last week. Haha, <laughs> Rebecca, you're such a chicken. Hey, Drew! Go on! That's gonna come back to bite me. Emma Watson. Isn't she hot? <laughs> yeah, I totally saw the Philosopher's Stone last night. What a smoke show. Hey, Josh. Yeah, totally. Hey, guys, check this out. Oh, she's not wearing any clothes. She looks like Rebecca. F this. I'll be right back. Hey, you! We eat films. 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 I'd like to introduce Jess, our new cast member. Um, and Jess, this is Josh, that is, that's Sean, and that's Subash. Hi, I'm Jess. Nice to meet you. Enchanté. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jess. I hate Rebecca. I hate Rebecca too. Hi, I'm Jess. I know what your name is. You've said it three times already. What's going on here? I mean, am I being replaced? No one outsources Subash. Don't take it personally. He just really likes being on the show. I was thinking a little bit about our review this week, and I think it'd be best if me and Jessica did the review together. Uh, if I can just be very honest, it's very frank, um, I think that I'm a little bit sick and tired of this bullshit when it comes to sexist comments 
Which is why I would like to do a review with a woman. Sorry. I didn't have had my coffee today this morning. Uh, Sean, would you mind pouring me a cup too? So, will you do the review with me? Yeah, I'd be honored to. Good. Actually, I just saw Brooklyn's Finest last week. And I must say, due to the excessive use of vulgarity and overbearing music, any potential the film has at impacting the viewer on a deeper level is ultimately ineffective. And the plot is lost in an arbitrary bloodbath. That was so good. I'm totally hot for a teacher. That was perfect. Now just bring that to the review. Any thoughts, David? None yet. Hang on, hang on, don't look. Are you looking? Don't look. Close your eyes. Bam! Oh yeah, well, that makes perfect sense. I know, right? Okay, what I want you to do is to put this down in a memo and tie it to my messenger owl. Me messenger owl? owl? I'm sorry to break it to you, but we don't have an owl here. Do, do we have a dog? A no, no dog. A skateboard? No skateboard. An old man? A spry old man? Actually, you know what, spry old man? My grandfather's pretty spry, actually. Uh, you know what, let me give him a call. Excellent, now make like a spry young man and go. Go, Dave, go! All right. Oh, wait, Dave, 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 Dave. Come here. What now, Al? Who be this charming young lass? You know what, I actually don't even know who that is. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to find out everything about her. Is she a normal human being? Does she eat like a normal human being? Does she eat bacon? Is she vegetarian? Do bacon bits count as vegetarian? Does she eat imitation bacon? How good is her imitation of bacon? Can Does she poo? Do women poo? That's a damn good question, Dave. Now go! Find out! Right now! Andale! Arriba! Go! Do women poo? Mm. No way! No way! Josh, you heading to the review? What are you gonna kidnap me again? Oh my god, I'm really sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Josh, if it's any consolation, you look great in a bathrobe. Are you okay to do the review? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, just do exactly the same as you did last time in the meeting and you'll just do perfect. Okay, yeah, okay. great. Okay. Action, motherfuckers! Hi, my name is Rebecca French and this is... Hi, Jess. Say your last name. Park. And we're here from We Hit Films reviewing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows part one. Jess, what did you think of the movie? I, I see films. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Women. Oh my gosh, Jess, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm so sorry, Rebecca. Something weird happens to me every time I'm on camera. I just get all nervous and twitchy. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the review. Rebecca. It's okay, I, I understand. Just give, me, just give me one second, okay? What? I'm busy. Sorry to bother you, but I have an idea to help you get the review finished. Hey, you know what, Jess? Yeah. Why don't we talk about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows right now? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Uh, why don't we sit down right over here? Yeah, just that's it, great. God, she's so pretty. So wait, she she doesn't know that she's on camera, right? No, you see, that's the beauty of it. She doesn't think she's on camera so we can get a review without any anxiety. But you know what, we have to do this quickly before Al gets back. You know what, I really appreciate this, Dave.
What's your name? Uh, my name? Yeah, no, your full name. I love your name. <laughs> I'm Jessica Park. And I'm Rebecca French. And today we will be talking about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. No sign of him, my lord. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 follows Harry and his friends as they try to destroy the Seven Fork Cruxes in order to be able to eliminate Voldemort. Uh, yeah, I, I saw the movie, I know what it's about. Potter, you're underage, which means you've still got the trace on you. What's the trace? So what did you like about this film? Um, you know, I really liked how they brought it back to the three friends, you know? The movie starts off with Harry, Hermione, and Ron and their friendship, and they've really grown up into young adults now, and you get to see that. I really like that. I completely agree. I thought that this particular movie, what I liked about it most, is that they catered it to a different demographic. Yeah. It was much, a much more older. It was older, darker. Darker, very, yeah. Much older, very dark, and they kind of showed a lot more graphic images, such as, you know, certain fight scenes, certain almost racy scenes, essentially, in order to be able to go along with the whole uh, idea that their audience is now older. To so what would you rate this film? Uh, like, rate? What do you mean? Yeah, you know, like, give it a number between something like 1 and, and maybe, oh, 10. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I guess 7? Seven. 7? And, and why is that? Uh, probably for all the reasons I said. That's legit. I'd probably give it a 7 as well. Um, I thought that the movie was great in terms of the Harry Potter series, but as for an actual movie on its own, it was okay. So, um, once again, I'm Rebecca French, and you are? Uh, Jessica. And we're here reviewing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Reviewing? Yes, we're reviewing. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. I'm Rebecca French, and we're from We Eat Films. Thank you for watching. You did a really good job, by the way. Thanks. Guardium Leviosa! Expelliarmus! Linguini! Now what the hell are you doing? Dude, I'm practicing my magical skills so I can impress Jess and make her fall in love with me. With a straw? Yeah, I figure magic hasn't been invented yet. I might as well just be prepared. Magic? What magic? Let me get a glass of chocolate milk with that. Dude, I'm prepared for that too. Alright, let's go. Hi, I'm Rebecca French, and I'm here from We Eat Films reviewing Josh and Subash. And that rhymes. First off, Josh is a really nice guy, but he's kind of a little bit of a dork. I mean, he can't really pick up chicks. And who wears a necklace outside of your shirt? Seriously, Josh, come on. And Subash, you know, he's kind of like the Godfather 3. There was so much expectation, but it didn't deliver. I'd have to rate Josh, mm, a five, you pass. Subash, I rate you probably a three. So, from We Eat Films, I'm Rebecca French, reviewing Josh and Subash.